just about time for hockey on this Saturday night in Syracuse. Crunch and the Hartford Wolfpack. Final matchup of the season between the two teams. Left side, Valu with a breakout pass to the blue line for Otto Sapi. Couldn't get it past his man, Laverde. Hard hit by Huntington near the blue line on Meskinen. Great hit by Huntington in the right corner. Back to the right point, Jan. Cross ice, Radish. Foot and Radish play catch for the crunch. Five to go on the power play. Radish down low, Colton. Couldn't do much with it as he got tied up. Out in front, Jan. He scores! It's a power play goal for Dennis Jan. 4.09 left in the first period. 1-0 Crunch as Jan has connected in three straight games and the Crunch lead late in the first period. With just over two minutes to go in this first, hard hit by Luke Witkowski on Nick Jones. A long shift now for those defensemen. Giveaway behind the net, out in front. There's a puck along the goal line, covered by Wedgwood. Oh, that one nearly banked in off of the blocker of Scott Wedgwood from a tough angle. Anyway, the cruncher in their own zone, another giveaway. Right wing side, Letary spins back, sets up a shot, score! Joey Keane has tied the game with 1.05 to go in the first period, it's 1-1. Crunch have possession, a lead pass kicked down by Joey Keane in the neutral zone. Penalty is expiring in seven seconds as Chris Mueller in, shoots safe, rebound jammed wide by Mueller. What an effort individually, then he had his stick broken in two, no penalty. Boy, Mueller has had some opportunities today for the Crunch. Maybe the best five on five chances we've seen from Mueller all year. He's been most lethal on the power play for the Crunch, as a long shot tipped wide, bounced off the side of the net, Mueller scores! Chris Mueller puts the crunch up 2-1. 1509 left in the second period. It's a 2-1 lead for Syracuse, their second lead of the game. Darren Radish in offensively for the Wolfpack. Right wing side, shoots it a pad. Save the rebound. Where's the puck? It's in. They score. 308 left in the second period. And a funky goal ends up in the back of the net. Leas Anderson, I think, will get credit for this one. It's a tie game 2-2. In left wing side, Matt Bolesky along the wall. Winds and shoots. That was blocked. Rebound swung ahead. Kicked loose. Stevens takes it. Chips it out of the zone. Here he comes. Oh, he got slashed. Penalty upcoming. Stevens will just protect the puck for now. Boy, that would have been a breakaway for Mitchell Stevens. And he's not going to get a penalty shot attempt. Wow, that's a tough break. So they discussed, they talked about it, the officials. And they do determine it is a penalty shot worthy play. Mitchell Stevens. After the penalty on Vinny Letary, gets the penalty shot against Adam Huska. Stevens, the righty shooter, picks up the puck, and he weaves to his right, slowly and over the line, between the circle, shoots, he scores! It's a penalty shot, shorthanded goal for Mitchell Stevens, and the crunch lead 3-2, with 2.10 to go in the second period. Puck left side, back to the point foot again. Once this unit has gotten in there, though, they've had some good looks. Some dangerous pass, but it came to Radish. Down low, Sapi, back door, score! Oh, out of midair, Ross Colton for two. What a play, a power play goal. And 129 into the third period, it's 4-2. These guys who are looking to get their offensive games going. Ross Colton's another one. He's had so many opportunities lately. Posts and great saves down to Martel in front. He scores! Back to back goals, and Martel makes it 5 2, two minutes into the third period. As the puck is along the goal line, they had signaled for the timeout. Now the crunch have a two on one. It's Smith and Radish. Jamel Smith left circle for Radish. Shoots, just missed the left post. Oh, just missed it by an inch. Pulls back in the defensive zone with four minutes to go in this third period. Now up ahead for Stephen Fogarty, gloves it down. Nice move, left side, out in front, and it goes into the net. What a goal by Fogarty. Short-handed marker with 3.57 left in the third period. Down to 50 seconds to go on the power play. Barry Bonet takes it away, pass across, good one to Mueller at the red line, shoots, and he scores! It's a short-handed empty net goal for Chris Mueller. And it's 6-3 Crunch with 1.19 to go in the third period. And it is a three-game winning streak for the Crunch. They take two from what was the top team in the American Hockey League entering the week, the Hartford Wolfpack.